here it is Christmas again. Guest of honour at this year's Variety Club Christmas lunch, Prime Minister Edward Heath. Bruce Forsyth and Danny LaRose slipped into seasonal drag for the occasion to accompany their favourite carol singer, Vera Lynn. After getting a few tips on how things are run in Pompeii, the Prime Minister handed over some of the gifts. There were 17,500 of them altogether, collected by the Variety Club for deprived children. And this batch went to matron Jean Rose of St Mary's Hospital, Plaistow. Christmas, of course, always means a big business boom. Most firms anticipate the rush, and long beforehand, they're getting ready for the flood of orders. It's a good time to introduce new products on a nationwide scale. Time for a hard sell, even with soft drinks. Drink of all varieties is delivered in thousands of gallons to off licenses, pubs and stores. It's a busy and profitable time for all concerned. And of course the big shops and supermarkets keep their shelves stocked up as families start the annual buying spree. But supplies have to be ferried to the solitary men who have their own bright lights to look after, the lighthouse keepers of Trinity House. Here on Lundy Island, they'll be on duty during the holiday, but there'll be time for a bit of celebration, and the special shipment includes all the items for a first-class Christmas dinner. Let's hope the relief man's a good cook. Meanwhile, harassed mums get to grip with the ingredients for Christmas time at home. It would take a pretty big family to eat their way through this giant pud that Maggie Fitzgibbon's helping to mix. Most of the contents come from Australia. Another gift for children in hospital. And if you've never been across the sea to Ireland at Christmas time, here's what it looks like in Dublin. This is where the magic of Christmas begins. The windows, the lights, the decorations, all emphasized by the wonderful innocence of the children. London's Regent Street has once again been a glittering show, between power cuts, of course, but even with the shadow of a continued work to rule by electricity board employees, the Christmas spirit has been shining through, the enduring message of light and hope and warmth. In Scotland, they tend to save their main celebration for the new year, but Christmas is by no means forgotten. The streets and squares of Glasgow are as decorative as ever. Even electricity cuts can't diminish the power that comes to most elbows over Christmas. Everyone celebrates at party time, everyone except the driver, let's hope. Whether it's at a party at home or down at the local, 
there's always the temptation to let your hair down. Let's face it, it does do us all a power of good, whether it's a family get-together in the drawing room or a good old knees up. But please don't fall for that quick one for the road routine just because it's Christmas. If you have to drive, for goodness sake, remember to soft pedal on the booze. We're all hoping there'll be fewer road accidents this year. But Christmas, after all, is really for the children. The greatest joy for grown-ups is watching their wonder and happiness as their imagination runs riot in the toy shops. In spite of all the commercial angles, there are still plenty of youngsters who believe in Father Christmas, even though there's a different one in every big store. Sometimes the excitement of meeting him is a bit too much for them. Never mind, come Christmas, let's hope they'll be all smiles again. Anyway, to all of you, and to all of them, a very happy Christmas.